you know, I was just looking at these great and rare photos of Walt Disney. And that reminds me that some of you have told me that what you like best from what I do is when I talk about the work of Walt and productions that were done in his time. But that also reminds me that there's a good many projects that I consider Walt worthy that have been done from the 80s onward. For example, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, The Journey of Natty Gan, Tomorrowland, Pirates of the Caribbean, Newsies, and quite a few more. Did I mention the Country Bears? No, I didn't. But one of the most Walt worthy films came in 1991 with The Rocketeer, and I was very happy to be able to include that movie in uh, the Disney book because it's not always the case that we can include live action movies when we're doing historical Disney subjects. The Rocketeer really has become a cult classic because of its style. It's sort of typified in this great Art Deco type poster by Joe Matos. It's a combination of high adventure, special effects, and good old fashioned thrills. Set in the 1930s, it's a throwback to movie serials and action adventure films that had been typified by Raiders of the Lost Ark. So it was very much in that groove. It's become a cult classic thanks to the appeal of the rocket helmet, the jetpack, the comic book type action adventure. And in fact, it started as a comic book. It was created by Dave Stevens and was first published in the early 80s. And in 1991, it became a big screen action adventure film. Dave Stevens created more adventures for The Rocketeer, as in this example, The Rocketeer Adventure Magazine. This was published in 1995, following the release of the movie. So Dave certainly created more adventures for Cliff Secord and the other characters in the Rocketeer series. And that reminds me that there is a special connection between the Rocketeer and the great Hanna-Barbera action-adventure series, Johnny Quest. Do you know what it is? I'll tell you what it is at the end of the movie. Or the video. How about the video? But to return to the comic book roots of The Rocketeer, there's even been a more modern, uh, 2012, I believe this was published by IDW, uh, tributes to The Rocketeer. Take a look at this great cover. And they were even publishing reprints of the original Rocketeer stories, as well as new ones. And we can take a look in here and see some great art and a tribute to Dave Stevens and the Rocketeer. It even includes a fundraiser for cancer research because sadly Dave Stevens died in 2008. He's only in his 40s of leukemia. So uh, it's a wonderful tribute and a wonderful effort to raise some money to fight that disease. At the time of The Rocketeer's release, being a Disney movie, is no surprise that there was all sorts of tie-ins, and certainly publications were among them. Here we have this great Golden Look Look book, as it was called. Some really fun illustrations, some great storytelling. <laughs> this is an adaptation of the story of the movie. And the art is by Del Barris. And best of all, this book was written by Barbara Basildua, Disney guru and my friend. So this is very, very cool to me. There's also this hardcover movie storybook, which is really what we would call a big golden book. But uh, for some reason, it's not called that, even though it's published by Golden. And we have some great photos from the movie. illustrating the story. Naturally, there were activity books, coloring books, and a sticker fun book, very much in the classic tradition. 
one thing I really love about this sticker book is that there's this great illustration on the cover, but inside photos are used. And this may have been done for other movies, but I've never seen it done. So we have photographic backgrounds taken right from the movie, of course. And then the stickers, which you, as always, punch out and stick on where they belong in the photos, are also photos. So it really makes a very unique, there's the Bulldog Cafe. <laughs> really makes for a very unique sticker book experience. There's even this fun maze on the back. But looking at the photos reminds me of how elaborate the special effects are for the flying scenes especially. And um, it's kind of incredible to know that six stuntmen, in addition to Bill Campbell himself, who played the Rocketeer, were responsible for the flying because they really wanted to show that it was an actual human being flying around. The Great Sats, the Griffith Observatory. We also have the Hollywood sign when it's still said at the time, Hollywood Land. Now, a lot of behind the scenes stories were detailed in this official movie souvenir magazine of the Rocketeer. And I referred to these before. These are always so much fun. And they are in the tradition of the movie programs that I spoke about in my video about the Roadshow movie programs. You might want to check that out. But at any rate, we have not only some great photos from the film, but also behind the scenes, stories and photos, some Dave Stevens art, but also some photos of Dave Stevens himself. And here he is with Billy Campbell. And you can see the resemblance between these two because Dave Stevens based his drawings of Cliff Secord, the Rocketeer, on himself and also based his personality on himself. They needed to cast someone who sort of embodied that. And it's interesting to note that Dave Stevens himself even tried out for the role of the Rocketeer. But even though he didn't get the role, he was the associate producer on the film and helped with storyboarding and set design and consulted on all that. So the originator of the Rocketeer was 100% involved in the movie, and I think that's one reason it's so good. In fact, he even has a cameo in the German film that Howard Hughes shows to Cliff in sort of a joke. Dave Stevens plays the test pilot that gets blown up <laughs> because the uh, the rocket pack isn't working properly in that early test. There's a great poster. And like most of these official souvenir magazines, this is just chock full of wonderful art, photos, and as I said, behind the scenes stories. But on the back cover of the official movie souvenir magazine is an ad for this wonderful Rocketeer 3D comic. And I have an example right here. This is cool because it's going back to its comic book roots. We have the 3D viewing glasses, sort of in the style of the Rocketeer's helmet. All together, we have eye-popping 3D art, awesome sound effects, a 48-page comic book, a 30-minute cassette. So this is one of the most elaborate and best tie-ins with a movie I think has ever been done. So let's take a look. Here's the comic book itself. We'll take a look inside and see some of the art. And of course, it looks kind of funny because it's designed to be seen through the 3D glasses and has this wonderful 3D effect. Just all this action. So much fun. And here in the front, it gives kind of a history 
about 10 years ago, comic book artist Dave Stevens created the character of the, of the Rocketeer. The adventures of Cliff Secord, a.k.a. the Rocketeer, quickly became a cult favorite. Then Hollywood called and the Rocketeer got his own movie deal coming in theaters everywhere in the summer of 1991. And the art is, first of all, the first credit is script visualizations and art direction by Mike Royer. And then the artwork itself is all put together by Neil Adams Continuity Studios. So there's some big names involved in here. And it's just unbelievably well done, especially as seen in 3D. And in the back, also in 3D, is an ad for the comic book adaptation, a graphic novel, really, 64 full color pages of the Rocketeer movie. The cover was done by Dave Stevens himself. And now that we've come back to comics, you'll remember I told you I would tell you the connection between the Rocketeer and Johnny Quest. And here we see a Johnny Quest comic book with this terrific cover, which is drawn by Doug Wildey. Doug Wildey was the artist who created Johnny Quest certainly one of the greatest animated series ever. And he designed all the characters, etc. Here's his famous signature, which you can also see in the credits of Johnny Quest, crediting Doug Wildey with the creation of that show. The Rocketeer slash Johnny Quest connection is that Dave Stevens based the character of PV, the Rocketeer's mechanic, played in the movie by Alan Arkham, on Doug Wildey. And here we have in this Rocketeer comic, we have at the back Dave Stevens' salute to Doug Wildey with a great photo of the two of them together. To bring it all full circle, Dave Stevens did a cover of the Johnny Quest comic book. That's his art right there, and there's his signature. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at some of the tie-ins with the Rocketeer movie. We're going to be looking at the subject again because I have other Rocketeer memorabilia in my collection. So we'll definitely be taking another look at that soon. And there are some surprises in that as well. But in the meantime, I hope you'll join me again for our next video where Mr. Smee, LeFou, the Baddens, and the King will be here to discuss their new sidekick support group. See you then.